that God has given you joy. Yeah. That's wonderful. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Yeah. Now, um, I want you to take the microphone because forward. I want to ask questions. What is the key thing in holiness survivor movement? What is the main thing we are facing, we desire, we practice in holiness survivor movement? Somebody. Love. Okay. Yes, another person. A woman. Holiness. Yes, another person should express it. Truth. Yes, another person. Righteousness. Yes, another person. Evil. Yes, another person express it. Heaven. Yes, another person. Perfection. <laughs> yes, now. Humility. Okay. Faith. Okay. Truth. Amen. Unity. Boldness. Evangelism. Promoting love, righteousness, and truth. Okay. Praise the Lord. Reviving the biblical truths back to the church. You, you have begun to arrive at it, yes? Perfecting holiness in the body of Christ. Okay. In the preparation of the soon coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, you have met it 70% 75. I want you to... I want Praise to, the Lord! Uh, <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's to bring the Christians together. Because this is the end time ministry. To bring the churches together. God say, my church... I and my father are one. And my church will be one. That is the purpose of this ministry. Okay. Praise the Lord. Holiness in and out. Now conduct, our dressing, and everything that we do should live a holy life. Praise the Lord. I think I should be able to uh, accept her to summarize everything. Though I needed it more full. Praise the Lord. I needed it more full. Restoring righteousness, truth, and holiness. Or truth, righteousness, and holiness to the body of Christ or the church of Christ. Working to work out unity of the body in preparation for Christ's coming, which is it's a long sentence. I expected a longer sentence. Amen. Very good. Now, there are two problems we are facing today in the Church of Christ. Number one, men are not serious with God again. Men are the ones God committed headship to. But they are not available. They are not available. War has affected men such that many of the men have died. What is that is what happens or happened during primitive time when war was common everywhere. And normally women didn't go for war. And the men that responded for war were being killed such that you come to a community, you see more of women. Where are your husbands? They went to war and didn't come back. So, 
we are left with our children. So this is what the church is suffering. Satan has attacked men and has killed many. So we're not seeing men as much in the church. This is worldwide. And these men are supposed to represent God. They are masculine. We look at the Bible. Though women played role, but men played greater roles. But they are not there again. They are not there again. Ask the women here to stand up. You will find that they are just, men may not be up to one third of the women where are your husbands okay where are your husbands to be the devil has snatched them this is one blow satan has given to the church of christ men are not interested when we pray for miracle, any crusade anywhere, it's very difficult for men to come out and say, I have received a miracle. Either are they very big or they have offended God so much that he doesn't do miracle for them. I don't understand what really is happening. Men are backward. Let us say, let's ask question. If you have any question, raise up your hand. I count how many women are raising up their hands. And how many men? Women will be more than men. If it's okay, if you have testimony to give, come, come and give testimony. Check among those giving testimonies. How many men are there? So the zeal of the Lord is, has gone to women. Men are not there. This is a thing the church is suffering. What solution to this? Are they not hearing the gospel? They are hearing. Are they too proud and too great? Why are they not responding to this gospel? What's wrong? But that's the situation. Then the second problem of the church the women getting these women to practice holiness is another problem getting the women to practice holiness uh, is another problem Christian dressing don't dress this way. Dress this other way. Difficult, difficult, difficult. Difficult. But I'm seeing that you people are trying. You have done wonderfully. Your dressing is fine. Yes. You will still see people in holiness movement. Even leaders that their skates will be flying in their knees here. What's happening to these ones? That are still wearing this tight fitting dress. What's wrong with you? Tight fitting skate. Or oh, so this skate that is very tight fitting. You see these young girls. Tight. Exposing their buttocks. You say, what's wrong with these people? Are they not hearing? All this while they have not known standard. They say, ah, that's, what other, that's how other people dress. If we don't dress like this, can we get husbands? Where are you getting your husband from? From the market? You are getting your husband from where? From the world? Or from the church of Christ? Is God the one to give you a husband? <clears throat> Or you have something to do on your own to get a husband. Do you think God will change his standard because people have become 
we people no more keeping to standard is like a teacher in the school or a lecturer if he gives a test or exam and discovers that people didn't make it well the highest person is just 55 he begins to allot marks is allocating free marks to the people. Take, 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 take. Okay, I'm going to add 20, 20, 20 flats to raise up the average, uh, uh, the average in the class. So with this 20 marks, 55 is 75. 45 is now 65. 35 now is uh, 55. 25 now has become 45. 15 now has become 35. You think that God would do like that? He would never do that. If he gets eight people, it's enough. Close door for the against the others. I've gotten eight. That's okay. I've gotten eight. So if you want husbands dress well. Please God, he will give you husbands. If you go and follow the way of the world in your dressing and be thinking that God, you will get a husband, you will never get God's husband. The God, the husband that God gives, you will never get him. Because he said, can a man being evil as you are, give fish to his son that act, that give a, a serpent to his son that asks for fish. So God cannot, if you don't make yourself holy, don't think God will give a holy child to you. No. He says, don't give holy things to who? Dogs. To dogs. You have met yourself dogs by your dressing. Your dressing is not in standard. And God cannot give holy thing to you. You are a widow. You are still young at the age of marriage. It's God that gives a husband. It's not you. You just live a life befitting of God. Live a life righteous. God will give you a husband. You will be surprised how somebody is interested to marry you. But how? Me? You want to marry me? I thought that I've passed age. God has put your love in my heart. It's just you. And I'm satisfied. That's how God can do it. Just give God righteousness. Give God holiness. He will give you the desire of your heart. Dress well. Now, how many of you here have earrings in your box at home? Don't raise up your hand. Because if I ask you to raise up your hand, you will be committing sin. You won't raise up your hand and that will be sin to you. Are you hearing me? Because some of the people are not convinced. They say, don't worry. This holiness movement. They will come and change. We will not change. Yeah. But the earring and those things you carry and put in your box waiting for us to change. They are praying for you. Praying for, praying for you. That go, holiness movement change. Satan, change holiness movement. Those, that's the prayer that earring and the bracelet and uh, lipstick they are praying on your box satan where will you walk a holiness movement i'm sure satan is telling them something now that i have tried and tried it is not working <laughs> because it's not ourselves but the word of god that says so although you are not clear yet but that is truth you're not clear. You tell a child two plus two plus two plus two plus two is equal to 
Oh, adult. You are an adult, that's why you are fast like that to get it. So anytime I was saying to you, say one year, say two years, yes, three. <laughs> that's how you get it. But a child, will he run fast like that? No. But child, the answer to this is ten. Mommy, I don't understand, but it is ten. Daddy, how did you do it? I said the answer is give the child time. When the brain develops, he will come and know that daddy was right. Mommy was right. So these things that we are telling you, believe them. You will come and know, though you don't understand. But you should, be, you should be able to sense the spirit controlling us. The spirit moving among us. See the spirit and then know that these things. I'm seeing God is among us. And God is controlling what we are doing. Although I do not understand this jewelry matter. The way I'm seeing it going, God is supporting this truth. I, I believe. Thomas, Jesus has risen from the, dead, from the grave. I don't believe that type of thing. Unless I see. Thomas, you'll be wasting your energy. This thing you're saying will put you in trouble for eight days. It will put you in trouble. Because... As long as Jesus does not appear, you will not be believing it. But if you just had believed that these, all these ten apostles told you what they saw, why don't you believe? Say, no, me, I don't take it like that. Then you will suffer. It took grace. The devil could have tempted that man away. And Jesus came and said, Thomas, Look at me now. You say until you see. Okay, come and touch my hands. That you say until you will touch. Trust your hand into my side. That you say until you trust your hand there. And be believing. And be believing. And not doubting. Thomas now said, Oh my Lord and my God. Jesus said, is it because you saw before you believe? What did Jesus say to Thomas? Blessed are those who do not see and yet have believed. But you are not among these blessed people because you are saying Jesus has to show you too. That until Jesus will come to you, as if this Jesus is your boy. Do you have any child called Jesus? Then why are you trying to command him? Is Jesus your boy? That you are saying, is it not mercy? Because he doesn't want you to go to hell. That's where that truth come to you. And now you are saying, until God will show me hell too. Until God will take me to heaven too. I want you to repent of that spirit. Otherwise, it's enough for God to block it and say, how many have the chance to even hear it one time? Go to China. How many? Have the, go to Islamic country. How many have the chance to hear it one time? That you had this opportunity and you're busting and bragging yourself. Are you not really a candidate of hell? If you are in hell, will you be saying like that? That uh, uh, in fact, the reason why I, I came to hell is that they didn't bring me here on time to come and see, so that I would have come back to to heaven I and mean, to the earth and then go and repent. If God had brought me here earlier, I would have seen and said, "Oh, so this is where hell, this is how hell is." Then I will go and repent. Then people in hell will say, "Will say, you mean you had this thing about you had when you were still alive on earth?" I never had. It didn't come around my place. Not by radio, nor by any means. So you mean you had it once and you played with it and were waiting for a revelation. 
Hey. So please dress properly. I say there are two problems, but the third problem is there are people who see their brothers doing wrong and say nothing and do nothing because they are selfish people. They are selfish people. They are full of themselves. And Jesus condemned them. He said, A man was leaving Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves that attacked him and left him half dead. As he lay on the, wall, in the, on the road, a priest came and saw him wallowing in pain and in his blood. A priest with the name of God on him, with a white cloth showing that he serves God upon his body. So one lying a dying and went to the bush and created a way for the Levite that was coming behind to follow and left this man there and when the Levite also came and saw the man and saw that a path had been created in the bush he followed the bush path and left that man there this is another problem in Christianity and we are facing it in holiness movement that you see a person committing sin and you are more ready to protect your name protect yourself that nobody will speak evil against you nobody should attack you nobody should blame you nobody should be angry with you therefore you turn off this is the third problem we are facing. You have turned off. Who then would save this person that the devil has stricken down? Who will serve him? Who? The mean people that carry God, that profess that God is with them, they are doing nothing. They have abandoned the people. Who would do it again? If they carry a patient to the hospital and the doctor looks at him and goes his own way, a particular nurse, a senior nurse, look at him and goes his own way, who would do it? Who would do it again? That's the problem. You see your sister not dressing well. To tell your sister, sister, this your skirt has not reached the normal level out of love put him as put her aside and do it in a way she will know that love is in this matter no criticism so, ah mm. i want my peace of i don't want anybody to blame my life i don't want anybody to come out in witchcraft and be tormenting my family so, mm, you are like the priest and the Levi. That the God you say you are serving says you are a bad person. You are a bad person. You saw my enemy destroying my precious child and you didn't help me. You mean you didn't help me? Ah, uh -uh. it's just like somebody you, your child got lost, and a neighbor said, "Yes, I saw your child." Uh, and you know how old this child is? Two years old child, or oh, three years. I saw your child crying in the market, and I said, and I look at him crying. Ah, uh -uh. I said, "What about him, mommy?" Oh, I left him because ah, I don't want police people to catch me. How will you do with that neighbor? He 
is he a good neighbor? That's your problem. Your, the problem is you're not a good neighbor to your brother, to your sister. That you see mistake and you refuse to correct that mistake so that he should not go to heaven. By the way, you're not even interested for your neighbor to go to heaven. You know God will condemn her. God is going to condemn him. And you kept quiet. The Bible says, you too. For him that knoweth what to do and does not do him, do it. To him, you are a sinner. A worse sinner than that person. Learn to correct one another. And you, if your sister comes to you, sometimes it's very difficult for brother to correct the dressing of a woman. Is that okay? And sometimes we may even send a woman, go to see that other woman and tell her this, tell her this. And it may be a man that sent that woman. Or she saw it. If a person came to you to correct you, not whether dressing or any other aspects, be humble. Even if you are not, it, he sees wrongly. Don't say, uh, I know. I know you. You are here in this church for me. Satan sent you. I want to tell you, you will fail. It shows that actually you are an, you are you are an evil man person. You are an evil person that is not interpreting love well. Act of love, you are interpreting it to be wickedness, and that is where you are quenching love in the church. You are quenching love among the brethren. All this vision of witches and wizards that fill everywhere. Don't bring it to church, oh. Otherwise, it will hinder us from doing righteousness. You hear me? Hey. I was told at one of these churches, just like my brother crossed his leg and sitting down now, they will come and open his leg. I said, because secret society people, which is a wizard. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You know, me, I can preach. I'm between number one, number two. They say, see, pastor belongs to them. It's 666. 666. If you, <laughs> if you bring that thing to this place, you'll be having trouble. The devil will scatter your life. There will be no love. Because these are the things that chop away love. They eat away love. Be slow to suspicion. Be slow to suspicion. Don't be fast. Don't also call your suspicious spirit a gift. Me, I have gift of design. No, you have problem of suspicion. Are you hearing me? I'm saying this because the Lord is the one making effort to bring people. The Lord has worked and is working on people to bring them to the church. Instead of receiving them, he said, uh, who? Who? Amen? Amen? If you check the way these people are talking now, maybe as he's talking, he's talking to somebody outside. And then as he was talking to the person, he has entered the door and he's entering through the back. See, see them now. Clear manifestation. Clear manifestation. They said they normally they turn their back to enter church. Don't bring that type of thing here. Are you hearing me? Because God has given us liberty. The human being can behave the way he, he, he may not even understand. And if you begin to give interpretation to everything, you will be promoting Satan. Is Satan so great like that? No. Everybody said no. No. Why do you live in so much tension because of Satan? Why do you live in so much bondage because of Satan? 
that all the prayers we are praying here in the church, Satan is sitting on a chair. It's not possible. Amen. Didn't Jesus say, even as you were going about preaching, I saw Satan fail from the, from the heavens like lightning. I saw, as you go preaching in my name, how much more? You gather together. You are praying in the name of Jesus. Satan is sitting on seats. It's not possible. You people have doubled Satan, making him so great. You have given undue promotion to Satan. Job didn't give that promotion to Satan. Although Satan was even working against him, he didn't bother. It's the Lord. The Lord gave him chance. The Lord has given, the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So fix your eyes on Jesus. Believe in Jesus. And let the church pray. Does it not mean that workers of evil are not also coming in? Everything is under the care of God. If they come in, he allowed them to come in. Just talk to God over everybody. The main thing you should be doing is prayer and righteous living. Prayer and righteous living. Nothing shall happen to you. Let the church be prayerful and live righteously. Nothing shall happen to you. If you really have a gift of discernment, really, 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 and you had have revelation and become convinced that somebody else is in evil. Take that person to God in prayer. Handle that person before God. You will see the result. Either God, this person, if the Holy Spirit tells you, get him out of church, your prayer will get that person out of church. Destroy all the evils in this person. All those things shall be destroyed. Uh, a man of God visited the house of a herbalist because a member of his church was taken to the herbalist's house. So he had to go there because not everybody has faith and not everybody is truly born again. But he is a shepherd over them. He had to go to see this my, my person. So when he entered there to the house of that person and ministered to his member there, he left. One time in his program, he saw the herbalist. Come and say, Pastor, pray for me. Pastor, say, eh? you are the herbalist. Everybody is going to your house because of your power. You are coming to me to pray for you. He said, Pastor, since that day your feet marched to my house, my power fell walking. So you have this behold I give unto you power. You have the power and you he, he which is which, 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 which every day. What are you doing that for? What are you doing that for? How much more? Praying. That you're full of hey, which 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 you can't eat food in the, your brother's house. They are poisoning it. What happens to the promise of God for you? To the point that love is destroyed. God is not happy with this type of thing. You are not welcoming divine presence of God. The light he has given to us. You are still in darkness. You are still in darkness. You are not welcoming the light. You are not appreciating the light. You are not walking in the light. You will walk in the light now. Amen. You will walk in liberty now. Amen. Now, you say, oh, the Lord revealed this to me. If you have become assured, you may need to tell the leader, don't be spreading it. We may have to verify that. Let the prophet speak by two, at most by three, and let another man judge. To know whether it is of God, whether that dream came of God or not. 
Because Satan also gives dreams. Satan also gives dreams. Satan can show you a dream that a particular coordinator was upon you and was pressing your neck. Is it possible? Yes. Hey. I've caught him. I've caught his coordinator. Let's examine that. Because the devil can be doing those things. To scatter things. So that you should not go to heaven. Yourself. And that before you don't, before he carries you to hell, you should help him scatter other people. That's the whole thing. But God will give you liberty. If you explain it to your leader, he will verify it before God. And the spirit of truth that knows you following the way of truth will know how to handle that matter. If it comes from him, he will justify that revelation. If it comes from the devil, he will condemn that revelation and scatter it. Is that okay? The Lord be with you. Take care of one another. Help one another. Encourage one another. Praise the Lord. When I remember, when I remember, when I remember Jesus, I'm satisfied. Amen. Remember. When I remember, when I remember, when I remember Jesus, I'm satisfied. Amen. Amen. I remember Jesus, I'm satisfied. Amen. I remember Jesus. Amen.